Good morning, gang. Happy Sunday morning. So, here we go. It's cold out. It's 21 degrees this morning. It's middle of March. should be warming up by now. You know, I'm in Tennessee, and we're 11 degrees below freezing. I don't know what we're going to be able to keep. I mean, fruit trees, I'm figuring this is going to be devastating for my fruit trees again this year, but it is what it is. I can't control Mother Nature. We all look at this and go, crap, it's 21 degrees. I can't do anything outside today. Can't get this work done or whatever it is. And if you stop and think about that, that tells you how weak we are as people. And I'd say primarily this is Americans, Canadians, Australians, Europeans, Westerners. Okay. Hmm. It's been so good for so long that we've gotten weak. You know, you all know the whole phrase that basically ends, hard times make for strong men. It's 21 degrees. It's cold. Where's my coat? Where's my gloves? Where's my hat? Yada, da, da, da. Yeah. Go we'll take a look at, say, I don't know, Yakutsk, okay? a populated city in Russia, pretty much the coldest city, populated city in the world. You know, 30 below was a nice balmy day. 60 below is when it gets cold, and we're bitching about 21, okay? Or we're bitching about a foot of snow on the ground or 40 inches that some places got, California or New England or whatever. Go live there where it's ice all year where they can't bury their dead because it's permafrost, okay? Those are hard times. Those are things that we need to get here ready for, okay? Because as preppers, we, we kind of pat ourselves on the back a little bit, you know? Oh, I've got my food, I've got my power, I've got my backup heat source, yada, da, da, da. And you almost get this tunnel vision of the world's going to collapse around me and I'm still going to be drinking my tea and having my cookies in the morning and, you know, it'll just all be fine. No. Okay. It's not going to take long till those that don't have what you have figure out, hey, he's got food. Hey, he's got firewood and heat. Hey, the lights are on over there. I don't care how good you are at blacking out windows and stuff like that. Somebody's going to open a door at night and lights are going to be seen. Okay, It's going to happen. This, this is the thing. We need to prepare ourselves mentally to understand the fact that it ain't going to be easy. This is not sitting on the porch, shotgun in hand with a, with a cup of lemonade, watching the world collapse around you. Okay. When the financial system goes, <clears throat> there are going to be a lot of people that are going to freak out. Okay. If we go to war, there's going to be a lot of people that freak out. And you're going to get Different groups, gangs, factions, tribes, mags, whatever you want, competing with each other or fighting each other for a limited amount of resources. All right? And again, I'll go into some silly stuff. You know, you can Hollywoodize this or whatever. You know, Mad Max. Look what was going on just over gasoline. That was the whole premise of the movie. You know, people were killing each other over gasoline. <clears throat> You think people aren't going to kill each other over heat or food or medicine? Oh, yeah, they will. All right, there's, there's no question about it. We as preppers are, sometimes we lull ourselves into a false sense of security. <clears throat> that think, <clears throat> because I've done all this, I'm going to be okay while the rest of the world crumbles around me. No, the rest of the world is going to crumble, and you're going to be smack dab in the middle of it. You know, you j you have to figure out all the ways that you are going to avoid 
the inevitable conflicts, how you're going to solve them, okay? And the solution is, is not kill them all, let God sort them out, okay? <clears throat> that may work for the military, but it's not exactly what's going to work for preppers, okay? Because I hate to tell you guys, no matter how much of a world-class survivalist you are, none of us are Rambo, <laughs> period, okay? You know, none of us are going to go out and kill 600 people and get a couple of scratches on us and maybe a little bit dirty. And, you know, it always amazes me where you get all these bad guys, who, you know, in movies who automatic weapons and they spray out, you know, full magazines of bullets and don't hit anything. And the good guy goes, bang, with one shot, kill somebody. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> that ain't reality. Hate to tell you this, okay. What is your plan for protecting yourself okay, from the simple things? When the, when the mag from the next street over, the next county over, whatever, goes out looking for resources, which they all are, including yours, you're going to go out looking for resources. How are you going to deal with those conflicts that are inevitably going to come up. It's something to seriously think about. Because, again, good times, which we've had for 60, 70 years at this point, create weak people. If it's too freaking cold to go outside when it's 21 degrees, oh, it's raining, I can't do anything today. Really? Okay. Group's got to eat. Need water. Okay. Well, it's raining. Okay. You can put a bucket outside, but, you know, gee, we need to go hunt a squirrel or whatever so we can eat something. Yeah. Gee, it's cold. Yeah, that happens in winter. Okay. We need to toughen ourselves up mentally. Not just, you know, prepping isn't about going to Walmart or a tractor supply or Bass Pro Shops and buying a bunch of gear. That's that's part of it. Don't get me wrong. It's having the equipment that you need. But, you know, as many people say, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Spiritually, I think th those that are spiritual, they've got that covered. Physically, okay, probably preppers are going to be in better shape than most. I mean, with the amount of stuff that we have in the way of material. Better shape is in physical shape. That is a question. Okay. Mentally prepared, you're going to see crazies out there who are completely unprepared, unmentally prepared, and are not going to know what to do. Crazy people do crazy things, guys. You know, you'll be amazed how desperate somebody's going to be to get a cup of water, eat a carrot, or whatever when they're hungry, what they'll do. You see these stories, you know, in the cities or whatever, you know, man arrested, sentenced to 25 years in jail because he killed a shop owner, you know, in a, a grocery store or a convenience store or whatever it would be. How much did you get from it? 10 bucks. It killed somebody for $10 in not an SHTF situation. You don't think somebody might try to kill you over a tomato. It's something, it's something you need to really think about hard. Is, are you soft or have you hardened yourself? Right? You're going to have to take emotion out of this. You know, I, there's a lot of people out there who will freeze when it comes time to pull a trigger. Just have it... Having the equipment is one thing. Being able to use it is another. Having the mindset to do what you have to do in the situation is going to be the one thing <clears throat> that is going to be the downfall of the majority of people because they are not mentally capable of doing what needs to be done. 
you, you need to work on hardening yourself. You know, that's tough, but that's reality. Pinball out.